Hi guys, welcome back to Adventure 365, the channel that's going places. Following on from my last video of fitting this terra firma winch bumper, we've got a steering guard. So we're going to put a, it's not a terra firma one, but we are going to fit a steering guard. Now I'm hoping this uh, isn't going to be too long a video because that winch bumper took forever last time. It should only consist of like half a dozen bolts. Maybe I should have unpacked this first. Right. We got in. Now, it's a five mil steel steering guard. I haven't gone over the top because I, like I've said before, this is not an off-roader, it's an overlander. And this is just to protect the steering damper really. Because everything under there, apart from the steering damper is all heavy duty or already protected so uh, yeah so I just went for a five mil the, you can get a lot thicker you can get much thicker much stronger ones but five mil will be fine it's not too much weight that's what I'm concerned about weight more than anything I guess really I should have gone for an aluminium one but uh, price that's the problem Stainless hardware, that's nice. That's the opposite side to that bracket, so let's pop that on the bonnet out of the way. In fact, we'll pop them all on the bonnet out of the way. There we go. Come on, get out of there. There goes my box. And there you go. Actually, you'll see that side, won't you? But you're getting the idea of where I'm going with my colour codes, can't you? You know, black and green. There we go. One steering guard. It should consist of what? Six bolts? Well, eight there. Four, four, eight. Three each side. Yeah, not many bolts. All right, let's get this fitted. Hopefully it's not going to take three days. Now a quick look at the steering guard before I start putting it on. I think I'm going to have to grab a set of overalls because I'm going to be scrumming around on the floor. But let's have a look under the truck at what we've got to undo. Now, That's the bolt we put in last time for uh, the winch bumper and we need to put a bolt through there. Hardware all comes with it so that's easy, that one just pushes through. That one we've got to take out and we'll probably have to adjust the spacer that we put in and I'll just show you the other side. Any closer because otherwise, you can... oh there you go, you can see better now. There you go. We've got to loosen that bolt off which is to the steering box. And we've got to do that one, which goes to the steering damper, uh, sorry, the winch bumper again. So we've got to just undo that one, the same as the other side. So we'll do this side first, as it's the more difficult one of the two. Now I don't know if I can film and do this, but we'll try. All right, I've just put that on well, uh, just to make sure everything fitted. Now I, I was right, I couldn't get under there and film it's a bit tight but uh, yeah there you go there's the first mounting bracket on so I'll just do the other side and we're nearly there actually an easy job right, I've got the sides on and I've managed to get the camera low enough to the floor so you can see what's going on needs to be behind that, there we go. Oh, 
I'll tell you what. Considering that's not a terra firma steering guard, um, it fits perfectly. It looks like one of theirs. Just centralise it and tighten it up. So tight. There we go. Just finished putting the steering guard on and we had a delivery at the front. The side steps have just turned up. Now if you watch the previous video the side steps were already here. We ended up having to send those ones back because they didn't fit. When we opened them up they were for a five door. So I had to find a set that would fit a three door and particularly a three door military. So I've opened them up and I've stuck one on the other side. So we'll have a look at that one first and then I'll show you this one. So here we have the new side steps. And they look quite nice, they're really solid. I'm quite pleased with them because they actually bolt to the outrigger here and the bolt that comes to the bottom of the bulkhead there so they're pretty solid. They're not rock sliders, they are side steps but they'll give them a little bit of protection. Now the problem with the other ones were that they bolted to the sills and obviously we haven't got a sill section here because of the uh, lockers. But yeah, these are nice. But have you noticed there's one problem with them? Yep, they're not black, they're silver, and I don't like it. Um, with having black checker plate on the wings, the corners, uh, black bumpers, black wheel arches, and you know the theme's black and green, isn't it? There is a bit of silver, but I think I'm going to have to take this off and spray it black. In fact, I know I am, I can't live with that being silver. So, it, luckily, this is just riveted on. So there's actually, part of the seal is there, and then this plate's riveted on, so I'll just take the rivets out. So this is one, there's a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rivets. So take that off and we'll, uh, we'll paint them black. We'll do that later in the video. Uh, first off, we're going to get some paint. And I'll probably put some, because uh, that's sprung up there, so I'll probably put some PU with DC bond and glue them down. But yeah, other than that, I love them, but the only ones they got that were black were actually rubber. I didn't like the rubber ones. Uh, I'd rather have metal ones. So yeah, we're going to take the, these apart in a bit and we're going to paint them black. But let's go and have a look at the other one. So here's the other one. No, I haven't fitted yet. Uh, yeah, they look alright on their own, but I'm definitely going to paint that black. But they're dead easy to fit. There's two bolts go through the outrigger. The holes are already in the outrigger. And that front bolt uh, goes to the bulkhead bolt, like I said. So it's like, it's, they're 30 seconds to fit. They're really good. And they're a really nice side step. They're pretty solid. Just turn that over. They're nicely welded. The welding's not bad. For what they cost, they were, I think they were like 170 quid. I couldn't make them for that. Not for the time and stuff it takes to actually make them, but they're, they're pretty good, I like them. They're just pretty, they didn't do the black checker plates, they only did black rubber. So uh, let's get this one fitted.
amazingly, all the bolt holes line up. Pretty much done. That's even level. Karen will like them. Let me take that out. Karen will like them. That's it. I'm just going to spray them black. Uh, I have to go and get some paint first. So I'll go off and go and get some paint and I'll be back. I fetched some paint so now I can take these steps apart. Helps if you have the drill running in the right direction, no? There you go. What is wrong with that? Just gonna knock the tops off these and then punch them through. I have to just drill them a bit more. Oh, actually, they're going to look really good in black, aren't they? Now, I've just given these a wipe down with some panel wipe, just to clean them off. I'm not going to scuff them up. I've got some etch prime, so been to Alfred's. Just going to miss some of this on. I'm going to get the edges. I should have used slightly less fluffy cloth when I did the panel wipe. That's got loads of bits in it.
definitely use etch prime when you're painting aluminium because it doesn't stick otherwise Right, leave that for five minutes. These have had about 10-15 oh, minutes to dry. They'll be fine now. The sun's been on them. The sun, or as we know it, the outdoor low bake. And that'll do. Guys, they look amazing. That's such a transformation, just painting them black. That just matches in with the rest of the truck perfectly. I've made a little alteration to them as well. I've countersunk the rivets rather than being domed rivets. I've put countersunk rivets in. So uh, they just, they look more like bolts. So they'll look much nicer. Just get this riveted on and we're done. Hey, one more, one more job done. Surface me riveter.
Now I did put some paint in the holes where I drilled the other rivets out as well. Helps prevent a bit of rust getting in, doesn't it? Oh, that one doesn't line up. How can it not line up? It came out of there. That's odd, isn't it? Just a bit of a burr on the edge. Done. They look cool. Hope you enjoyed the episode guys if you've made it this far please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one